Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of our world. In today's episode, I will show you guys how I cook my game birds on fire. Uh, so basically, all the birds are same after skinning them. Either it's duck, geese, or chicken, or turkey. So basically, uh, I'll explain you guys uh, the procedure from start to beginning. But uh, this is how my chicken looks. But uh, this is the same procedure that I cook all my game birds, duck, geese or turkey in the same way. So before starting this video, I want to give you guys a little bit information. Uh, the right temperature at which your chicken is done is 74 degrees centigrade. But uh, make sure if you are using a wild game. Uh, so the cooking temperature increases from 74 to 84 degrees centigrade just to be on the side uh, just to be on the safe side So yeah in today's video I'm going to show you guys that how I cook my chicken so or any game bird so basically what I do that I cut my chicken into quarters I'll try to do this on the camera it's getting dark now so yeah I have to do this fast but I thought that I should guide, I should show you guys too that how I cut my chicken or how I cook my chicken on fire. So this is how I cut my chicken into quarters or my any game bird. Just be careful that uh, you cannot wash your hands enough so every time you are cooking or dealing with anything, uh, food, any food, wash your hands as much as you can. You can never wash your hands enough. So yeah, basically that's it. That's how I just quarter my chicken or my bird so it can cook properly and then just make little bit cuts on it. And this is everything I need to cook on this table. Uh, I will marinate it with the spices. I'll show you guys in a moment. And then in the meanwhile, my chicken will be marinating. I will start my fire and start my preparation for cooking the food on fire. So yeah, my chicken is quarter now. So I'll need a little bit salt on my chicken. It's a normal table salt. Then I will use some red chili powder. Not too much, just little bit. Then I will use some of my crushed chili then my favorite ginger and garlic paste I don't have much left so I'm just using the rest of it otherwise you can just use like for one bird one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon for of ginger basically it helps to kill that wild uh, taste in the wild game so you don't have to use it like if you are cooking the chicken from the grocery store but uh, if you are cooking wild game I would suggest you guys to put some ginger and garlic and then I'll just marinate it with my hands Finally, I'll add some barbecue sauce on it. Guys, this is my fire pit. I'm going to cook my chicken tonight. Or like I cook my wild birds in the same fire pit. 
So for kindling, I am using this cardboard, simple cardboard, and I have some uh, birch, uh, birch tree wood. So it burns pretty good, as you can see, because of this paper-like thing. It burns pretty good. So I don't need like a small kindlings and stuff. Hopefully, <laughs> let's see. Birch tree burns pretty good. So if I had any other tree like cedar, uh, like cedar tree burns good too. Like if I had any other wood, I would probably use uh, the kindlings. But for this, I will just light it up like this. As you can see that fire is burning and I have my grill on top of the fire. Like this is just a cage I am using to put my grill on. So this is the firewood that I am using to cook my chicken tonight. I have a different kind of wood, birch, cedar. Fire is ready. I have already put my grill on it. So I am going to put my chicken on top of fire. I will spread it away from the, the flames because I don't want it to get burned. But at the same time I want it to get cooked properly. So yeah, my chicken is on the fire and I'll keep you guys posted that how it's coming out. So yeah, just stay tuned. And yeah, this is my thermometer just for records I can show you guys. This is what I use to cook my wild game or any kind of outdoor foods because I want to make sure that I'm cooking it at the right temperature. The chicken is turning out pretty good. My chicken is ready now. I have already checked the temperature uh, of the chicken. It's more than 74 degrees centigrade. The end product will look like this. As you can see on the plate. Yeah, so thank you very much for viewing this video. And please like this video. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, please do let me know in the comment section below. Our world. Respect, explore and enjoy together. Thank you.